Hi everybody. Sorry I'm a little late. I was at work all day long and then I was trying to set up this room so I could show you all where the magic happens. It's actually my spare bedroom, but we do what we can do. So I'm going to turn you around and give you let you see some of the artwork around. There's those door dolls. Hi, Gina. Hi, Karima. I'm so glad you joined us. So I'm just showing you around the room so you can see all the different art projects going on. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do today is hi Charlene so what I'm gonna do today is called a dirty pour I was hoping I'd have all the colors mixed first but I didn't um, so we're just gonna kind of wing it here because I really didn't have time I hope the lighting's okay but I'm going to put you on the stand now I think you can see hi I'm just gonna move it up a little down a little bit down a little bit so what I'm using is a 10 by 10 canvas and I did have a couple requests for um, different shades of turquoise so I'm just gonna mix those up real quick um, the medium that I'm using is just water. I have used Floetrol, I've used glue, I've used all different kinds. And to be honest, there's really not a huge difference. So that's why I chose that. So we have green teal. And we have a deep teal. Because of the way I have the camera tipped also, I can't really see if you ask any questions, so I do apologize. Um, but I've never done lives, and I really wasn't sure how to do this. So, I have a turquoise. And I have another turquoise that's already mixed. So we have a couple of turquoises and I'm going to use black and white as well. So for the pores, it depends on what you're doing exactly, how thick you would like it to be. You would really like it to run right off of your stick. Um, for swipe pores, um, a little bit less so I'll put this here so that you can see me do the dirty pour as we do it so with the dirty pour I'm just getting a couple of sticks here so with the dirty pour what you're doing is you're mixing your colors and then you layer them into one large cup and then that cup what you do is pour over your canvas or like today I'm gonna pour it over a vase and then we'll tip the canvas and see what kind of goodness we get um, the one thing I really like about these pours is it's a surprise every single time you just really never know I can specifically aim for one thing and get something completely different um, I'm not a type A personality so that doesn't really bother me at all I love all the different textures and mixing that goes on with these pores 
I just have one more to mix. The other three are mixed. I apologize again. Hopefully you understand. It's been a crazy day today. So I'm actually going to, after I pour them into the big cup, I am going to prep the canvas and I'm going to use black as the background instead of white. Um, I thought maybe the teals would show up a little bit better and that's why I chose to do that. So you got to remember too when you're doing these pours that anything that you put in the cup first, that's what's going to come up last. So here we go. Got white, a bluish teal, this one's a greenish teal, so again I'm just pouring them in the cup in layers, I'm going to add a little more white. Here's some blue. And again, these are just all different colored teal colors, aqua, turquoise. I'm adding some black just for a little depth. I also put the vase on a cup, and that's more so that I can move it off of the canvas. Um, I haven't used a cup this big, but this is a really odd shaped vase, so that's the best I could come up with at this point. And then the other fun thing about doing these pours is if you really don't like it, you can take balloons, rags, add more colors to it, put a wet paper towel over the top of it. There's all kinds of things you can do to make it the way you want it. Most of the time there's no rhyme or reason how we do these things. I've watched a million YouTube videos of other artists doing these and that's pretty much how I learned. I've never taken an art class per se. I'm a singer and theater person, not a... never took any art classes. I'm sorry, I apologize. I should have put some music on. This is rather boring right here. And you also want to remember to have a wet rag with you when you're doing these. So I'm just using a little plastic spatula to spread this paint around. I'm trying to think of some of the questions I had when I was doing it. Um, my biggest question about doing this is why so much paint? But the reason why is because the paint moves and you need that kind of movement to get any sort of design. So right now I'm just trying to get the sides a lot of times I forget the sides and then they look all sloppy when I'm done. And if you wait too long and to fix the sides, you can ruin your whole painting. I 
Now I have these sitting on top of my egg, <laughs> my egg dippers, uh, mostly because I needed something in the middle because with the weight of the vase and the weight of the paint, you don't want the middle to dip. All right, I think we're ready to go there. None of these have silicone. I didn't add silicone on purpose because when you're pouring on a vase, the silicone will pop up and then you get glass and it just doesn't look as pretty. So now I'm going to put the vase on. I'm going to squirt the black around the cup. That way the paint can move as it lands on the canvas. I hope everyone can see. And here we go. I just blew on the bottom because I don't really want it to puddle on the bottom. Sometimes you can use a straw. It also adds an added effect to it. And then if you see any areas that aren't having trouble covering, you can just use your finger because no matter what you do for the next couple of hours, this paint's going to move. So anything that you see and I can show you in the next half an hour, it probably won't look like that by morning. So I'm just gonna leave this to move for a minute. Once the dripping slows down, I'll put it to the side. And then I don't know if you all have been watching the show right from the beginning or not, um, or even just a couple of days ago. What I did was I showed some of the jewelry that I make because you end up with a lot of paint on the silicone and the plastic doing these these type of pores especially. All right, I'm gonna move this over to the side and I can show it to you when I'm done with the... Oops. So I'm gonna start in the middle and pour what's left up in my cup. And then you just kind of move the paint around. I don't know if you can see the cells popping up here. They're really pretty. It took me a long time to learn how to do the cells. I used to watch different artists 
and their pore painting and they'd get all these gorgeous gorgeous cells and I was like what's going on why can't I get them um, it's usually just in the way that you mix your paint so I'm really liking what's going on here and I think I'm gonna leave it like that so let me just move this to the side And I'll show you some of the things that I do with the paint that fell off of the canvas. So what I'm doing is just getting it to move back towards the center. So hopefully you can see it better. So this looks kind of muddy. Well, it's pretty muddy. You can go over the top of it real lightly and a lot of cells will come out at that point. It also gets out the air bubbles. But what I'm going to do is some flowers and let's see if we can get them to so I'll show you how a, a dip is done. I think I'll use a little yellow in the center. Ah. Some gold. Some of this green here. So there's really no rhyme or reason how you do things. You just do it the way you feel at that moment. It's part of what makes it so much fun. Let's see what we can come up with here. So I'm just going to take a blank canvas, unprepared, and set it in it, and we'll see what happens. So you want to push it down on all the corners and the sides, make sure it all gets covered, and then lightly touch it on the inside. You can use a credit card, your fingers, anything you want. And then you pull it up and voila look at how pretty that is so pretty I'm gonna see if I can get any cell action coming out of this so what you do for that to pop bubbles and get cells is use a torch Look at that lacing going on. Isn't that pretty? And then I didn't do the sides, of course, because I didn't prepare it. So I'm just going to do the sides real quick. I 
I used to get my nails done and look all pretty all the time. And then I got into this painting during COVID. And there's just no point because it's a pretty messy job. So what do you think? I hope you like it. I'm going to torch the big one and I'll bring it over to the camera. Ah, I made a big mess. Oh, beautiful lacing and cells going on with this one too. Let me bring it over so that you can see it. Hope you can see how pretty this is. It turned out so pretty. I'll also bring the um I'll bring the camera down so you can look and I'll show you. I'll probably let this dry too. It's so pretty. Sometimes I can peel these right off as a whole and make them into a whole other picture and frame them, put them in frames and all kinds of things. All right, I'm going to take you off this. So what did you think? Did you like it? So let me turn you around and I'll show you what the vase so that paint is still moving, but look at how pretty. I love the colors. I'm glad we chose those colors tonight. And then here's that painting again. I'm hoping we can see it a little better with the light. I love the cells going on up here. Look at that lacing. Isn't that beautiful? So this is how and why I got addicted. Um, I'm officially an empty nester, and I needed to find something to do other than go to work. So I started painting and doing all kinds of crafts. And then I put them in bins under my table, and that's where they sit. Unless I can come up with someone to give it as a gift. I love these. I lost my mom from breast cancer, so I really love to do those. Oh, this morning I did shells. I have stuff hanging all over the wall. This I made for my daughter when she went away to college. So, like I said, I wasn't able to see any comments. Does anybody have any pictures or, I mean, questions? I appreciate you coming on and watching. I hope you had fun. Um, you have a good day. I'm going to go. Bye. Thanks again. I appreciate it.